Hello everyone, how are you? We know it's very difficult to choose the best product for a home according to our budget. Don't worry, to make your purchase decision easier and save you time, in today's video we picked only the finest items for you. We make this list based on features, price and actual user reviews. So if you choose from this list, you can be rest assured that you're buying the best product. Please check the description below for product links and updated prices. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So, let's go for top 5. Our first pick is the story of Ferdinand. Ferdinand is one of the young bulls who is distinct from the other bulls of the bullpen. While the majority of bulls are rowdy and rough, Ferdinand would much prefer to relax and enjoy the flowers. This encourages children not to think too much about their lives and to enjoy the surroundings. It's a great illustration of staying honest with yourself regardless of whether others find it odd. Each page only has a couple of sentences making it easy to read. The distinctive illustrations are easy to read and descriptive with enough space for imagination to be odd. Ferdinand is the world's most peaceful and beloved little bull. When the other bulls are prone to snort, jump, and slap their head, Ferdinand will simply sit and enjoy the flowers in his favorite cork tree. Number 2 in this best books for 5 year olds list is The Day the Crayons Quit. This book is ideal for those times when your child may be being irritable or is feeling not wanted. This story is about the crayons inside the box of a boy's crayons. They were unhappy over how they were treated, so they quit working. The show is a fan favorite due to its humorous storyline and the implicit message of showing your feelings when you're unhappy, while simultaneously introducing the importance of cooperation. Poor Duncan only would like to paint. When he gets his crayons box he discovers only letters that all say the same message, his crayons exhausted themselves. They've quit. Blue crayon is in need of an interruption from coloring the waters. Black crayon would like to be utilized for more than drawing. It's a book with colors and lots of entertainment. Our third choice is Bob Books Beginning Reader's Box. A lot of early readers' books have words that are difficult for children who have just begun to learn the alphabet sounds. These books are not. With only four letters in the story's first chapter M, A, D and S children can go through a book in a single sitting and they will gain confidence. The books are great since there are several sets aimed at beginners with five books in all. The first set is ideal for children aged five and older as well as other non-confident readers as it only includes four letters in one book. Once your child has confidence using the set independently before moving on into the following. Inside the box, you'll find 12 short and easy stories that will ensure your child will improve their confidence while they progress. Fourth pick in this best books for five-year-olds list is Goodnight, Goodnight, Construction Site. If your child loves everything related to trucks and trucks, this is the perfect book to read, particularly to read before bed. Every truck in the story is able to finish their day's work in saying goodnight. It identifies the real construction trucks. With its stunning illustrations and a plot that is centered around trucks, your child's love of construction will likely to pick it up every now and again. Even the toughest and most grueling readers will be compelled to shut away from their motors, sit down on their wheels and fall to sleep with this sweet and relaxing tale. Beautiful illustrations and a gentle rhyme text make this book for children a guaranteed to be a bedtime favorite. The delightful book about construction trucks has been praised by Booklist in its highly rated review the book is described as especially for people who love wheels that inspire their dreams. Our fifth and last choice is Giraffes Can't Dance. It's one of the books that did not quite work the first time you read it. If your child tends to be inclined to be shy this is a perfect name suitable for them. Gerald has a name that reflects a giraffe that cannot dance. As hard as he tries but is spindly, long legs buckle when he starts to boogie. Every year, he gets nervous about attending the Great Jungle Dance Gerald isn't an expert dancer, and is a bit somber and unsure when the other animals smack him. But in the end he comes up with the dance he's able to do and everyone is amazed. This is a fitting title to highlight the subject of bullying, as well as self-love. You pick this book because of that, and also for its rhymes to keep kids entertained.